Welcome to this video on addition. I'm going to run through several different methods of adding two numbers together. If I start with an example of 46 plus 27, we can attempt this in several different ways. Method 1 is called the column method. This involves writing the two numbers one on top of each other, making sure you line up the units and you line up the tens. We then add these up in columns. So we do the 6 plus the 7, which is 13. So I write the three units down, and we carry this 1 into the tens column, because a 13 is made up of a 10 and a 3. So the 10 goes into the tens column. So then we add up the tens. So that's 4, 2, and 1, which is 7. So I write the 7 down. So 46 plus 27 is 73. This isn't the only method of adding two numbers together. I could add the 46 and the 27 and do it in parts, do it in bits. So I could start with 46 and add in 27. And I might start just by adding 4 on. So that becomes 50. So I'm left with 23 on this side. Then I could add on the 20. So add 20 on to give 70. Of course, I'm now left with 3. And 70 add 3, that's where our 73 appears again. Same answer, different method. You could also do this question on a number line. So if I draw a line, so I'm starting at 46, and I need to go up by 27. So I could take jumps. I'm going to take a big jump to start with of 20 to take us to 66. I've taken a jump of 20. It doesn't matter what jumps you take, as long as in total all of your jumps add up to say this 27. So I've done 20, I need to make another jump of 7. I'm going to split that jump of 7 into a jump of 4, to take us to a nice round 70, and a jump of 3, to take us to 73. So in total, our jumps have been 20, 4, and 3. That makes our 27. So 46 add the 27 is 73. 